Today's program takes place in the yard area next to the church where a bunch of kids go. It's where we all gather and hang out before kids, choir, and services. Kids today are constantly bombarded with selfies, tweets, and snaps. It is so easy for us to get caught up in our self-absorbed and sometimes selfish world. Yeah, but that all changes for us, our group of kids, when we find this new app called Unselfie. The app lets you take pictures of yourself, but only lets you post and share them if there is an unselfish reason for taking the picture. In our lesson this morning, we learn the importance of being unselfish in today's selfie world by sharing and transforming the love of Christ. Unselfie, hashtag selfless in a selfie world, is written by Sue Smith, Sheena Bow, and Brian Hitt. This is a brand new musical, and we are excited to be one of the first churches to share this message with their congregation. So the next time you snap, chat, post, text, or tweet, stop. Stop for a second and think. Is it all about me? Is it selfish or is it selfless? Is the love of Jesus missing from it or does it share that love of Jesus? I've got a list of service opportunities here. Things we can do in the church and around the community for people who have a need. Hold on a second, Charlie. Let's get a selfie of the group real quick. Are you tweeting that or putting it on your status? Where can I get a copy? Well, we're using this new app. It's called On Selfie. You can take as many selfies as you want. It's awesome, and it's free. You should download it. Guys, really, if you'll just take a list of... If you'll just take a look at this list of service opportunities, there are some really cool things to do. 
Where do I download the app? Hold on just a second. Something is wrong with this crazy thing. What's wrong? I see all the selfies that I've taken. I see all the selfies that I've taken too, but it's not letting me share them. I mean, what's the point of taking selfies if you can't send them to each other? You guys, didn't you read all the instructions? Instructions? Where were they? And speaking of instructions, here are some instructions about service opportunities we could all be a part of. They were in the licensing agreement. You know, the ones you had to check before you agreed to download? You seriously read those? What did they say? Mm -mm. Users are permitted to take unlimited selfies. However, Apple only allows sharing of unselfies. That's why it's called unselfie. What's that all about? For definition of unselfie, please see John chapter 6. See also Luke chapter 10 and Mark chapter 12. What's that all about? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure those are Bible verses. Well, great. Where do I get a Bible? I have a Bible app right here on my phone. No worries. I'll look up John 6. Hey, Ron, don't, don't you have a Bible right there? All right. That was Mark 12. I got Luke 10. This is the story about the Good Samaritan. Wow, this is the story about the little boy who gave his lunch and Jesus fed 5,000 people with it. Mark, Mark, Mark 12. This is about a widow, a widow woman who gave her last two pennies, all she had, and offering at the table. Guys, I think I get what in selfie is all about, and it's a lesson I think we could all use.
what it would be like if they had cell phones in Jesus' day? I wonder what kind of pictures the little boy with two fish and five loaves of bread would have posted. Hmm. <laughs> and I wonder what the widow's status would have been. Hmm. And don't you wonder what the Good Samaritan might have tweeted that day? Wow, that is really fun to think about. You guys, we haven't even talked about the greatest example of unselfie ever. Huh? Well, you'll read about it in all four of the Gospels. Molly, can you find John 13, 15? This is about the dinner Jesus shared with his disciples. He washed their feet and said to them, I have set an example that you shall do as I have done for you. Jesus was willing to do his life. That's way unselfie. How about these verses from Mark 14? About Jesus praying in the garden of the city. Abba, Father, we cried out. Everything is possible. Please take this cup of suffering away from us. I want your will to be done, not mine. In Matthew 27, 50 says, He cried out in a loud voice, You guys, you thought they thought Jesus they took Jesus' life. He didn't. They gave it. Yeah, Jesus coming to earth and giving his life willingly on the cross for us is the greatest example of love ever. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
do something so unselfish for us, it seems like we should do something unselfish for him. I wonder what we could do today to show that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the only way the app will work. Well, there's a new girl at school who doesn't seem to have anyone to play with. I could ask her to be my friend. And my mom always does so much stuff for me. Maybe one day I could do something for her. Before she even asks. They always need help at the food bank to put food out. Maybe I could go there after school and help out for a couple of hours. I've got the sign-up sheet right here. Our church needs our help all the time with the things that they do to spread the story of Jesus with other people. Let's do it. Cool. Hey guys, I just noticed this tagline for the app right here in fine print. It all makes sense now. Yeah. Come on, let's go get the other kids. Okay, I get the difference between a selfie and an unselfie. So, what you're saying is the unselfie app will only share you taking unselfish pictures. Exactly. Just like, just like it said. My question is, how does the app know the difference? Well, how does Amazon know I've been shopping for neon nail polish? And how does Google know I've, I've pinned smoothie recipes on my board? And how does autocorrect know I always misspell, misspell? That he just know. Who knows? They, they know. Boy, being unselfish all the time seems hard. I don't know if I want to be unselfish all the time. I know what you mean. God says, and the Bible, that the greatest commandment of all is to love your Lord, your God, with all your heart, strength, soul, and mind. It also says that the second greatest commandment of all is to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't think we can do this on our own. Yeah, we are seriously going to need some help. I guess that's another reason why we all need Jesus. When we show love to others because he loved us first, 
When we decide to follow him, he'll help us learn to love unselfishly. Here's what the Bible says that looks like. Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 says, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Instead, be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't only take an interest in yourself, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude Christ Jesus had. It sounds like love changes everything. Love changed the world when Jesus came as a baby boy. And love gave us hope when he died on the cross for our sins. And love took away our fear of death when Jesus rose from the grave on that first Easter morning. 
Love will make you say to God and to others, just tell me what you need, and I'll do it. It sounds like love changes everything. And when love changes you, it makes you want to give him praise.